and our piece is called Perfect Light. Okay, sweetheart, I will. Bye now. Who's that? Oh, it's my friend David. He's at Kino, and he just told me the most hysterical story about the woman in the bed next to him. Apparently, she's been calling every one of her family begging them to come see her because she's dying. He said it's on her girl telling her to go to hell. It's <laughs> horrible. Oh, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> Being old and sick and laying there all alone in the hospital. Were you ever pissed off at me that I didn't come visit you when you were in the hospital? I told you before, you came when everyone else forgot about me. It's no big deal, really. I always figured if you were in the hospital, you might die. And if you were going to die, they wouldn't let you go home. So I waited until you got home, because that meant you were going to live. Are you nuts? They send people home to die all the time. Haven't you heard of hospice? They don't send anybody home. And isn't hospice like, you know, a special hotel where you go to, you know, Jason and Abby, you're talking about hostels. They do what they can do and then they send you home. <laughs> I thought you'd stay in hotels. Uh-uh. What I hate is my best friend dying, that's all. And it worked, didn't it? You didn't die. You're sitting here drinking wine and looking oh so glamorous. And your cancer's all better, right? Would you like another glass? No, don't change the subject. I said your cancer's all better, right? Abby, we're gonna have to talk about this. Why do we have to talk about anything? Your cancer's better. Say it, Jen. Say, I'm in remission. They haven't found anything new. I can't, Abby, because it's not true. Cancer came back. No big. No. When's the surgery? This week? I know. You didn't tell me about it because you thought I wouldn't come, right? No. There is no surgery this week. And there will be no more surgery. Damn it, Jen. But if the cancer comes back, if it grows, then listen. The cancer is back. And it's growing. I'm dying. Oh, shut up. I Stop saying that. No, I won't let you. You have to. I don't have to. I don't have to stand here and let you die. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing anyone can do. There's something. There's radiation, a, a bone marrow transplant, apricot picks, for Christ's sake. No, not this time. But you're doing great. You've got hair on your head. Just have them cut the cancer out. I'll, I'll stay here. I'll fly the girls out. We'll get a hotel. I'll stay with you the whole time, start to finish. Not this time. I wanted to see you before I got too sick. But, no, you, you can't. Wait, you can't die. You can't do this to me. Mommy's in the potty. <laughs> yes, she brought a book with her. <laughs> well, if it's going to take her that long, I don't think you should wait for her to get finished. <laughs> sure, sweetie. I'll give your mommy a hug. Okay, sweet cream, sugar plum. Bye-bye. Contraction I, combining I and am, the verb to be. Oh, shut up. <laughs> now, what's all this bullshit about you not having another surgery? You're kidding, right? No. Damn it, Jen. You gotta be straight with me now. Is the cancer really back or what? The cancer is back. The tumors are all 
Ben. When is the surgery? There will be no surgery. Oh, don't kid about this. I'm not kidding. This is just how it is. No, absolutely not. This is denial. I expected it. Screw you. Don't give me that sanctimonious, I took Psych 101 and I know all about what you're feeling. Well, death is the biggest stressor there is. Trust me, I know. Then what am I doing here? It's about closure. For everything, there's a season. Oh, God, she's quoting the doors? No, Jim Morrison. Absolute participant. How? <laughs> well, 